Recently, someone asked me what my thought process is like while I'm working on a painting, so let's jump into this brain and I will tell you. First, we throw down a sketch with a brush pen with no plan, just to get some really good energetic organic marks, and then we're going to cut in with some cheap white acrylic. I like this cheap white acrylic because it's matte and it's cheap, and I can just get some white values in there. Then I opened up a pot of my Oops paint collection in a darker purple to complement the base tone of the piece, and then I grabbed another color to add some contrast. I decided to add some light values in the background as well. And here I'm just going in and adding some more mid-tones. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good about where this is going. I think the edges have a lot of character. I really like this little point. I really like the way that her tummy folds. I'm feeling pretty happy with the quality of the brush strokes, and now I'm going to go in with um, a finer brush to then enhance little areas that I like. Like I've been going around with the gray color. I've just been coloring over little things that I think look nice. Um, and so I think I'm going to keep doing that and thinking about using uh, my clear outliner. So I was thinking about kind of meticulously enhancing the sketch even further, just going over the black areas with the clear outliner. And then I use Well, spoilers, it didn't end up doing the raised outline, but I did go back in with some purple. Okay, and so it's times like this that I like to step way back and kind of look at it in context from far away. I like that the lines are nicely enhanced with the light and dark values. I like that the sketch is not perfect, and I like that the unfinished aspects kind of bring character to it. I'm especially really fond of how this shape kind of goes off the canvas in the way that this is sort of unfinished looking. So I want to retain that, but I also want to, like, pop it. You know, I want it to have presence. And what better way to enhance it than with some ultra-saturated highlights? I mixed together a orange and a pink, and I got this amazing color. And then I had a bunch extra, so I went into the trash book and filled it in. And then I just thought about it some more. I thought about glazing, didn't like it. Then I went in with some quinacridone magenta and glazed with that, and I like that a lot more. I like how it makes little warm spots, complementing the contrast. And here I am just planning where to put some Naples yellow hue. I am planning where to put the yellow, I'm just envisioning it in my mind's eye, what it'll look like. It's bedtime now. <laughs> I'll finish it in the morning. Yeah, so we went to bed and I woke up and I thought, you know what, the only thing I want to do to this is add a layer of matte medium and call it done. Thanks for watching, you guys.